and I thought it was really cute and I think I'm going to do this white and put on some of the little bees from the paper but I want to add a little bit more to it so I think I'm going to start out by gessoing it first because then the paint you don't have to put so much paint and what's nice this is a wide mouth ball jar for canning I can just put my hand in here and that'll hold it Perfect. Okay, so I have the gesso, I put two coats, and now I'm just drying it a little bit. And then once that's done, I could leave it just with the gesso, but I want to use regular white acrylic paint over this. So as soon as I get the white paint put on, I'll come back. Okay, so I painted everything with uh, an acrylic white. Now I'm going to go in and I just took a pencil and kind of sketched out where I wanted it to look like honey dripping from the jar. And I'm using English mustard. The paint colors English mustard. And I believe, yes, it's folk art as well. So it's a little bit darker of a brown. So I'm just going to keep going around. Okay, so I have all the honey, it's supposed to be like the honey dripping down from the jar. So I'm gonna go over that again with another coat as soon as it dries. And then we'll put on this bee. Probably put it right about here. And then put a couple more little bees around the jar. And then, and then it'll be ready for flowers. Okay, so now I'm going to put on the queen bee and I'm gonna do that with Mod Podge. And then I'm gonna put her worker bees just sporadically and we'll be done. So I'm gonna get out the Mod Podge And I bought some matte Mod Podge. And I think I'm going to use that side where exactly I want this. And I think I'm going to put it just about there. 
I'm going to Mod Podge the whole uh, jar. I'm going to make sure that that paint, the honey paint, is dry first, though. here So I'm going to cut out a couple more of these, and these I just printed out from a piece of scrapbook paper that I, a piece of scrapbook paper that I had. I'll cut them out, and I'll be back. Okay. So I think I have the honey the way I want it, and you can see I put, you can see I put the uh, bee from the. Well, it was scrapbook paper, but then I printed it off on another paper so it make it a little bit lighter. Because scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper is a little bit thicker than just printer paper. So I mod podged that on. And then another worker bee here. And I went around here and over here. I'm going to put a couple more. And I think I might put some twine around it and hang one of these little honey what are these called honeys not a scoop but whatever it is I don't know yet okay so I'm just gonna come in with a little bit of this Mod Podge and I think I'm gonna just put it I'll Mod Podge the whole thing again once this part is dry Like I said, at painting, paint these bees on. If I was good, I would, but I'm not, so. Let's see, where do I want to put you? And bees, I mean, well, I mean, bees are in the fall as well, so I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more bee-related, uh, I think I'm going to do a couple more bee-related DIYs, because I will keep the bees up for fall. And you'll see how I have all this in a minute. I know you're not seeing much, 
right now. But I'll show you everything. Okay. So there are the bees. And then I'm going to dry, let this dry. And once it's dry, I'm going to come back and Mod Podge. Okay, I went ahead and Mod Podge the jar. So I'll wait for it to dry and then I will put what I'm going to put in it and show you. Hey everybody, here is the jar. What do you think? All right, I got all of the cutouts that I wanted on there, okay? And then I painted like, it's supposed to be like honey coming down. Now you could dimensionalize it with hot glue. I was going to do that, but I decided not to. But I think it turned out really, really cute. And I love this one. This little bee. And that was from scrapbook paper. Okay. So now what we're going to do, because you're probably saying, well, okay, so what are you going to do with the jar, Davida? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this little bush of daisies that I got from Amazon because my theme, which you'll see in a couple days, is bees, lemons, daisies. And I haven't done my uh, wooden spoon DIYs yet, but I just took these Dollar Tree uh, spoons and spatula, whatever it is, and just painted them and put some white polka dots okay so that's going to go in here here are the spoons okay then i'm going to add a little bit of jute and i'm going to add that around i'm going to wrap it around it well you know what i'll do Okay, I just cut it off. So what I'm going to do is wrap it around and just keep going around. And this is longer, so I'm going to keep wrapping this one. it off keeping in mind I want to keep this part as the front okay tie that in a bow and what I'm going to do is with one of these honey what do you call these I don't even know but honey dippers I think it's a honey dipper I'm going to put that and tie a piece of so I have the dipper and I have a little bit of jute holding it and I'm gonna put it right where I have that bow okay. I'm going to leave the jute just like it is hanging like this. I'll bring the camera off of the tripod so you can see. Then, last, I'm going to put these little bees that I made, and I did do a DIY on these, so you'll be seeing that. And I just put a little bit of wire. OK, 
Okay, so here's one of them. Cute. And then I'm just going to put this other one. Where should we put you? I think I'll bring you down here. Then there's that one. Okay? So, I will bring you down in just a minute to show you closer. I really like the way that turned out. And here are the flowers inside of the jar. And again, you don't have to put flowers. You don't have to put anything if you don't want anything. And then there's those two little wooden spoons from Dollar Tree. Just painted those. Let me turn this little guy around. I love those bees. So there's one. And there's the other one. These were made out of the Chanel stems, and this one was made out of the pom-poms. So I really like the way that turned out. I hope you'll try it. Just take one of your jars, take a spaghetti jar, whatever you have. Guys, remember the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. Talk to you soon. Bye.